If you thought paying a parking ticket was bad enough, imagine finding out private operators were fooling drivers into paying fines they didn't have to pay. I fe felt shocked and dumbfounded. Well, I think any uh, implication that a law enforcement official is issuing these fines is, is uh, misleading. Some lawyers have called the business model a bullying tactic. It's not a bullying tactic. They look like real parking fines and every year thousands of Australians receive them many unknowingly paying up. But tonight we're going to let you in on a little secret that private car parking operators don't want you to know. These are private businesses. They do not have the power to enforce the law um, like a, a police force or a, or a council does. Within minutes of arriving at this off-street car park in Richmond in inner city Melbourne, our cameras capture a parking officer on the prowl, dishing out fine after fine. But this man isn't a council officer, he works for Parking Enforcement Services, a division of Wilson Parking. Across town at a shopping centre, there's another so-called officer from the same company roaming the bays. We also find one at this hospital where Bridget and Amanda have just copped what they think is a fine. It is $65 here and 80 if you paid on after. We prompt them to turn it around and read the fine print. This is not a fine. That's so wild. The operator is claiming the amount due as liquidated damages as a result of you breaching the parking terms. Had you not told us right now, I wouldn't have known. Parking enforcement services isn't the only one dishing out the tickets. What these private car park companies are doing is alleging that you have breached your contract with them by using the car park. Meaning they're technically threatening to sue you, but just how likely is that to succeed? Commonly I see them claiming 60, 80, even $100. Um, when you put that uh, against you know, the actual cost of parking, which might be 10, 20, 30 dollars, it does seem all out of proportion with the cost of the contract. And I think courts have found that f uh, claims that high will, will not be enforceable. Gerard Brody is CEO of the Consumer Action Law Centre. People should be aware that the companies cannot obtain your personal details, so they cannot take further steps to try and enforce their claim against you. New South Wales and Victoria have made it illegal for these companies to access registration records. Before it was outlawed in Victoria in 2015, private car park operators made 50,000 requests to the courts every year to find out people's private details. Well, it's not deceptive because uh, a fine is still parking and a breach notice is parking, so it's not deceptive. They do use the same um, software tools behind the scenes, so when it gets printed, yes, it can look the same, but it, in some ways it's the same process, it's just a different way of enforcing. Stuart Norman, CEO of Parking Australia, which represents parking operators. If people in New South Wales or Victoria get one of these breach notices, they don't do anything at all in theory, there's no way the companies can come after them. I'm not going to go there. What was that? I'm not going to go there. I want to go there, but I can't. Can, can I ask you what you think this is if you found it on your car windscreen? Uh, it's a parking ticket, I guess. They're not council fines. They're yeah. called breach notices. People don't know if they don't do anything and they just leave it, the company can't find you and they can't... Oh, thanks in, for doing that. Enforce this, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about that? Because yeah. th that looks like a parking fault. Yeah, it does actually. Stuart Norman says the terms and conditions plastered on signs at the entry of car parks entitle them to sue. Yes, it is difficult to read all those terms and conditions when people drive in, but in the majority of cases, those terms and conditions are displayed elsewhere within the parking facility. So, why the high fee? So while some people may think that the breach notice fee is exorbitant, when that's compared to local government parking fines, it's nowhere near in that level. During our filming, we caught different parking enforcement services officers writing up tickets using the same officer badge number and signature. While refusing to speak on camera, the company told us a new fully trained officer used the login given to him in his training exercise rather than his own login. This is not standard procedure and we have adjusted our procedures. 
only the government or government agencies have the powers to fine. For your mind, so relieved rubbish. now, yeah. knowing that we don't have to pay for it. A little bit of good news there. That's something for you to watch out for these holidays.